just came from a funeral. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, honored guests. I never imagined myself as a widow. Alvin Adams, he was the perfect husband. Our marriage was great. Our lives together were perfect until his mother moved in. <laughs> she brought a lot of stress into our home. I decided the best way to reduce stress was to introduce a balanced diet rich with organic foods. There was a learning curve. My first few recipes caused them both to become very ill. But with practice, I became quite adept, and my mushroom omelet proved to be very tasty. Imagine my surprise when I discovered the mushrooms were poisonous. <laughs> and I was the widow Adams. Then I married Brad Brooks. He was the perfect husband. He was a sweet outdoorsy kind of guy. Now I'm not a big outdoors person, but I found his love of hunting attractive until I was left behind again and again when he went hunting with his buddies. I decided the best way to spend more time with them would be if I took up hunting. It was a crisp November day. I saw the perfect deer. I aimed, bam, bam. Then I heard Brad scream. I ran to his side. I looked in his eyes. Imagine my surprise when he sat up and spoke his final words. Gene. Why are you reloading the gun? <laughs> and I was the widow Brooks. <laughs> then I met Carl Crane. He was the perfect husband. <laughs> and an avid cyclist. Why, rain or shine, he rode his bicycle at least 20 miles each day. Coincidentally, Carl Crane's continual cycling caused constant chaos and a curious, catastrophic conclusion. It was a very foggy day. I shouldn't have been driving. <laughs> Imagine my surprise when an object appeared out of the fog. It was cool! I slammed on the brakes, but no matter how hard I pressed that right pedal, the car only picked up speed! <laughs> closed casket service, <laughs> and I was the widow queen. Then I married David Donaldson. He was the perfect husband, <laughs> but very forgetful. He could never remember to put the toilet seat down. We argued, then he became very accident prone. Twice the brakes in his car went out. Once the microwave fell and barely missed his head. He even lost part of his foot in a lawnmower incident. But even with all of that, I was willing to stick with him. Imagine my surprise when he divorced me. Then that tragic day, I saw him at the bus stop. He pulled out a knife, and before I could stop him, he stabbed himself <laughs> 12 times <laughs> in the back. <laughs> With my truck record, I didn't think I'd ever get married again. Then I met Eric Edwards. <laughs> Eric was the perfect husband. <laughs> he was an attorney and definitely a type A personality. It seemed that nothing could ever please him. I suppose that's why he turned to drugs. It was very difficult for me. I had never been in a relationship with an addict. Imagine my surprise when I discovered his drug addiction to arsenic. <laughs> <laughs> and now I stand before you as the widow Edwards. But I know that I'll find the perfect man in my sixth marriage. That'll be the one to last. But for now, you'll need to excuse me. I have an appointment at the country club with my insurance agent, that fabulously friendly, flirty Fred Franklin from Farm 
farmers. My limo's waiting. Goodbye now.